everyone, Phoenix Princess here, and welcome back to Hero Book One. Okay, right. Uh, okay, I mean, I can't. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, I won't be able to finish it, finish it all this video. But hey, that means more excitement, huh? Okay, right. I ha cannot remember what happened last time. It's been like nearly two weeks, and I've got a fa and I've got a really faulty memory. So let's jump in, shall we? Dum dum dum. Oh, here we go. And the title card, as per usual. <laughs> Sorry about the fan, it's just warm in here. It's on low volume, so. Okay, here we are. Chapter 13, Resolations. The morning sky is still dark as you leave your apartment and hurry across the city to the clock tower. Okay. You take the stairs two at two at a time and find X and Poppy waiting for you at the top of the at the top silly dis distraught Dex what's going on what was on that hard drive oh now I remember you said you said Salas press cars behind everything now I remember yes yeah big time look at this oh this is getting good okay Dex pulls up the contacts of the di of the disc of Ugh. why are there such big words a hard drive on the la on the la on the largest screen. You take a step closer. The soft blue light of the mir of the me men uh, involve invo enveloping you. <laughs> Sorry. Um, a dex clicks through file after file, bringing up the top secret blueprints, chemical chemical analyses, and X rays of the prim cr of the pri of the prim's crystal. I don't understand. What am I looking at here? Yeah, what am I? You know how that shipment of liquid prism got stolen? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, it turns out it wasn't really stolen. What? What are you talking about? What are you saying? I don't follow. What is happening here? I'm really lost. According to these documents, Salas paid those goons to come in and steal the serum. That way he never... Oh, one minute. <sighs> okay, right, sorry. Where was I? Okay, to come to steal the serum. That way he had... Pr that way he had proof of his discovery when it fell into the hands of the city's criminals. What? <sighs> okay, somehow I should have seen this coming. Which is exactly, oops, sorry, which is exactly where he wanted it to be. I can't be sure, but I think he's working with Stoneheart Phoenix. Yeah, considering everyone saw that at the end of episode two. In his communications with Mildew, in his communications with Mayhew, he offered to put him in touch with a superpowered associate of his with a, oh, sorry, with a primacy background. So, uh, these men guarding Mayhew's de demonics, they were... They were Stoneheart's guard, guys. <laughs> Looks that way, if you ask me, they weren't just there to keep you out. They were there to remain... To rem remind Russell Mayhew exactly who's in charge. Okay, so, alright. Okay, D I am really confused right now. <laughs> this is bad. Oh, we should have known. Yeah, we should have. We should have known. <sighs> He's always been a minor. He's always been a mediocrical. I hope I'm saying that right. How obsessed creep. Of course. He's but he. Of course he behind all of this. If it. If only we seen it sooner. He's building an army, Phoenix. The question is why. Uh, take over the city. Pretty much classic supervillain. World, world, world domination, per perhaps. <sighs> Knowing Salas, I, su I suspect his plans are more nuclear than that, if only slightly. Well, all we can do is guess for now. But if we have more, but if we have more insight into why he's doing this, maybe we'd be better equipped to stop him. True. A memory flows to the surface of your brain of your mum warning you to stay away from Salas and the knife press car into Stree's ga grand reopening. I I think I know someone who might who might have some answers. I'll be right back. Where are you going? Where I was where I was where I always go when I need some solid advice. 
I'm going to tell to my mum. Okay, she, yeah, I need some answers from her, like now. Okay, you take to the skies, fly across the city to your mum's apartment complex. After a few minutes of knocking, she finally opens the door, blinking sleepily. Phoenix, what time is it? I just got out of bed. Oh, sorry, guys, my eye. Mum, we need to talk now. You brush past Ro Rochelle and sit down at the small round table where she used to serve you breakfast before school each day. Oh, that's very specific. Of course, sweeties. Everything? Okay, it's so early. You got a lot of explaining to do. I know, I'm sorry, but I need you to tell me everything about your time at Prescott Industries. And I need to know why you worry, why you want me to stay far away from Salis Prescott. Rochelle sinks into the chair opposite you, her face full of worry. But why? Why do you need to know this? What's happening, Phoenix? Uh, you're... Let's see, your former boss is a psychopath? Um... Because... Because... Oh, should I tell her the truth right now, actually? Um... Should I or shouldn't I? Because I have to stop him, yeah. I might as well be blunt. Stop him. I mean, someone has to stop him. Rochelle looks down at her, ho her hands folding in her lap and sighs deeply. She gives you a long, stretching look. Phoenix, I'm going to tell you everything, okay? Finally! But once I do, please, please, please promise you won't hate me. Okay, why would I hate you? Hate you? Mom, how? Mom, I could never... Then promise, please. Okay, okay. I won't. Okay, I promise. Thank you, Phoenix. Okay. 25 years ago, I was working with Salas Prescott on the first prototype of the prison gate. We knew that the prison crystal had, imme had immute power and we were eager to harness it to use it for the benefit for the benefits of man of all mankind. Okay. It wasn't just Salas's vision, it was mine too. What? I dreamt of a world where everyone was provided for when no one would ever go hungry. Okay, yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense. I thought if we could just find a way to capture to capture the crystal's energy, we could do anything. Make our dreams a reality. Sorry about that. <laughs> Rochelle sighs again, a shadow passing over her face. But it wasn't that simple. What do you mean? We never stopped we never sought to ask ourselves where all this energy was coming from. We just assumed the crystal was the source. Oh, so you made a really big mistake there. But over time, I came to suspect that the crystal was merely a, condu a conduct that, and that the prison gate was in fact a portal. A what? A portal? Oh great, is this turning into the mist now? Yes, occasionally strange matters would, would come through from the other side. Okay, this is becoming more, okay, this is sounding like a lot like the mist. <laughs> At first, it was just a stray mo mo molecule. <laughs> right. Then there was dust and soil, even, vegeta even vegetation. None of it matched anything we ever found on Earth. You're saying it, it was from another planet? Not just another planet, another dimension. <laughs> the iconic structures of these samples was unlike anything we've ever seen. How so? Okay, what is happening? Uh, they weren't ca carbon based, they were prison based. What? What the heck does that even mean? I told Salas we had to stop, that we were meddling with things we don't understand, but he didn't listen. Yeah. Why not? To understand that, you have to understand the impact that, ha that Helen's death had on him. She was everything to him. And when she died, he was never quite the same. He became obsessed with our work and its potential. Okay. Alright, so... So his wife's death caused him to be like this. I think that's what I'm... That's my theory so far. It wasn't just about energy applications anymore. It was about... Taught, about... What? Tam? Nature itself. Unlimited energy was only the first step of his plan. 
Is that why you left? Yes and no. What? You see, Phoenix, I was alone in the lab one night running tests when something else came through the gates. Okay, now I'm getting both excited and scared. What? Rochelle gazes, gazes as at you instantly, her eyes fixed on yours. You. What? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, yeah, I'm... <laughs> what? I came through the portal. Okay, now this is... Okay, now this is becoming more like Supergirl. I knew it. Uh -huh. I... What? <laughs> I know. You feel your throat closing, your heart beating faster in your chest as the wall seems to be closing in on you. <laughs> Your head spins as you stand up too quickly, no, nearly throwing, nearly throwing up as the shock overwhelms you and you not and knocks you to your knees. Honey, are you okay? Wait, what is happening to me? Don't touch me! Oh, now I'm mad. You cringe away from Rochelle's out, outstretched hand. Your head swimming as you launch towards the, towards the door and stumble out into the hallway of the apartment complex. Phoenix, wait, please! Her voice fades, overwhelmed by the paddling pressure of your blood swirling through your skull. You throw open the apartment complex door and soar straight up to the sky, not even bothering to close your identity. Oh, that's going to be bad news for me. Tears stringing you, stings your eyes as you glide through the city you once called your home, your mind racing with strange and unpleasant thoughts. Okay, okay, one second, okay. So, so... Okay, so, okay, so, she found me 25 years ago, I came through the gate 25 years ago, she found me and decided to adopt me, and I think that's what, so, because I come from the prison gate, that's why the crystal reacted, okay, yeah, this is becoming more like Supergirl, I swear to God, also a bit of Flash, well, I love superheroes, who am I, why did I come from, am I really not human? <laughs> Okay, get yeah, this is all coming from my actual brain. <laughs> Days later, you sit in the bed in your in your apartment with the lights dimmed and the curtains drawn over the windows. Well, to be fair, if you to be fair, if this actually happened, if I found out all this, I would be shocked too. And us, and honestly, a lot of other people who found who yeah, I don't know what I'm saying right now. <laughs> Sacks of unwanted dishes clutter your si the sink and kitchen corner. Your phone screen flashes with another unread text. Hey, sorry to hear you're sick. Hope you feel better. We all miss you at the office. Yo, where have you been? I need a sa my sidekick. So I stopped at a bank robbery today. Feels weird being on the other side of the law. Though you might say... Though you might like to know... Please, are you okay? How am I gonna tell them? How am I gonna tell anyone? Okay. Okay. Um, you just well they're your friends, they'll understand, I mean. They've been I mean they've been through me this whole thing. I don't think I don't think they're gonna ditch me now. I hope. <laughs> the next day you're still in bed watching a news report on your laptop. <laughs> I'm here live with Northridge newest crime fighting team Talos and Minutes. I'm still trying to say the name! The dy this, dynam this dynamic duo just followed another tented robbery on an aunt's car. Anyone, anything to say to the fans at home, heroes? Um, stay in school. <laughs> <laughs> or don't, school's lame anyway. Dude, not helping. Whoa, she didn't mean that, kid. School is cool. <laughs> You're not helping. Okay, they're really dying out there. You feel a smile creep onto your face and vanish. Good to know Northbridge is safe without me, I guess. Okay. How long am I going to stay depressed? That evening, Poppy and Dex ping your group f f f feed yet again. Hey, you know how you've been boarding in your apartment for days and not seeing anyone? That ends tonight. We're coming over. Thank you. And if you don't open the door, I'm pretty sure I had the necessary chemicals to blow it up. Whoa, 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 whoa. okay, okay, don't do anything drastic. I don't worry, he's kidding. I think, I think, I hope. <laughs> uh, classic Dex. But I don't know if I can tell them about this. 
As promised, Dex and Poppy arrived half an hour later and immediately start pounding on the door. Let us in! Let us in! Don't even try to hide! It's the weekend! We could just sit out here forever! <laughs> and just uh, knowing them, they probably are. Well, for two days at least. <laughs> Ugh, hold your horses! I was just putting on some clothes. You open your door and Poppy and Dex split into your rooms talking to each other in their, as in their aspects to, to yell at you. Okay. Finally, we haven't... You, we, why haven't you received, returned any of our calls or texts? Grayson said you're sick, but you don't look sick. For all we know, Silas could be captured, could, could have captured you or worse. Oh yeah, sorry about that. And why is your place such a mess? Yeah, why did you lose a f Yeah, did you lose a fight with a super villain made out dirty dishes in here or something? <laughs> no. <sighs> Look, guys, I'm sorry. I haven't been very responsive lately. I I can't really explain why. I just... <sighs> Never mind. It's just... It's best if you just go. Honestly, I'm just not in a hosting mood right now. Too bad, because we're not going anywhere. <laughs> Not until you tell us what's so, what's so awful that you can't share it with your best friends. It's not that simple, Poppy. Sure it is. Why wouldn't it be? Uh, because I found out the biggest secret of my life and my entire life has been a lie. <sighs> okay. They will say... Okay. Either they won't believe me or they'll say... Okay. I know they'll believe me because they've seen Stranger throughout this whole thing. Uh, I'll say that they'll see me differently. That's what I'm worried about. If that I find that hard to believe, I've known you for what over five years now. How could one little thing change all that? I don't know. Well, it's not exactly a little thing. You walk back into the room and sink onto your couch, and Poppy sits b down beside you. Go ahead, Phoenix. We're here for you. No matter what, you got that? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Whew! <laughs> you take a deep breath and the whole story comes thumping out of you. Dex and Poppy sit by while you explain everything. Your mom's work at Prescott in Industries, the prison gate and your true origins. And that's everything. At least that's everything my mom told me. Although I guess she's not really my mom. I mean, I knew I was adopted, of course, but this, this whole, this is a whole other thing entirely. So let me get this straight. You've been sitting alone in your apartment for days, ignoring your friends and feeling sorry for yourself, all because you're an alien. <laughs> well, well, yeah, pretty much that's putting it, that's uh, putting it bluntly. <laughs> oh boy. I'd be thrilled to learn something like that. For one, if that's what your mum says is true, this is undeniable proof that aliens are real. Dude, not now. Dex, thank you. Plus, if I was an alien, I finally know why I'm so weird and awkward and not like everyone else. Ser Dude, you are seriously not helping. I'm not an alien. Well, well, I got to be if I come from some other planet or dimension. At least, not technically. My mum said I was from another dimension. That's even better. Now we have proof that ultimate dimension... Dude, would you seriously stop? Dex. Dex, this isn't making me feel better. Sorry, it's just... This is huge. The scientific remains alone are... Dex, Phoenix doesn't want to hear about the, psych the scientific box of anything right now. Right, sorry, I guess I got a little carried away, huh? It's fine, it's fine, you just got excited. Yeah, little. Look, Phoenix, I can see why you were nervous about about sharing this with us. And I understand why you feel like thing this thing this changes things. But I'm telling you, it doesn't, at least not for me. What so what if you're from another dimension? When I look at you, I don't see an alien, I s I don't see an alien or a person for from another dimension or even a superhero. I see my best friend. That hasn't changed since you got superhero super powers and it's not gonna change now. Oh thank you. Oh hey. You're the best. 
I'm sorry I didn't trust you guys. I should have known that, that you would have been scared or freaked out or whatever. It's just that I am, you know? It's like, like everything I thought was true just isn't. I didn't know who... I don't even know who I am anymore. I know the feeling. Of course you do, you hero girl. Now clearly there's more to you than we previously thought. And, na thought, and naturally I'm interested by the concept of the prism dimension. But I'll tell you what I've always tell myself when I'm trying to fall asleep and start worrying about the vaccine of living ex uh, Okay, this is getting <laughs> annoying. I can't say all of this. What? <laughs> I know! I mean, it's always terrifying that time and space are infinite. If there are also infinite dimensions, well, what's the point? What's the point? Is there in doing anything ever? Okay, I really don't understand now. For being honest, do you not? Do you guys not worry about that? Uh, not before today. I don't know what that means at all. Uh, not before today. I'll put that at the meantime. You mean not before I brought it up, or before you learned there were other dimensions? Well, both, I guess. I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> Maybe you can skip the Neosum ne and get to the words of comfort decks. Right. Basically, this is your life. You grew up in Northbridge, right? Rochelle is your, mo is your mother, and Poppy and I are your friends. Who cares that there are other dimensions? Who cares that there isn't one? Who cares that there isn't the one you were born in? That this is where you live the majority of your life. As far as I'm concerned, that makes this dimension, specifically this planet, this country, and this city, your home. Okay, that's the word to come. I needed. Thank you for that. Actually, oh, Dex. I'm glad that ended up going somewhere. I got a little worried about that. Oh, 20 minutes into your lecture. <laughs> Hey, it wasn't that long. Mm-hmm, sure it wasn't, dude. Oh, I see, you were kidding. Hilarious. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Dex. That was actually very comforting. Good, I could glad I could help. Poppy reaches over and pats your ha hand gently. Feeling better? Starting to. Thanks a lot, guys. I'm sorry I've been so... Ev What's that? Infos I don't know what that says. Don't be sorry, this is a lot to absorb. I don't blame you for wanting a little space. I'm just glad you finally let us in. That's what really matters. Of course. Yeah, you see, and this is what this is what it should apply to real life. If you're scared about something or if you're scared about something, tell someone you could trust friends, family, because you know they'll be there for you no matter what. Poppy smiles and pulls you into a tight hug. Get in here, Dex. Oh, is this a group of Make room, I'm coming in! <laughs> oh, damn it. Okay. Uh, okay, this hug has gone on long enough. Not quite. <laughs> How about now? <laughs> Poppy finally releases you and Dex, and you sigh with relief. Alright, group, hu group hug activated. Great work, team! <laughs> Ugh, you guys, you two dorks do really deserve each other. What's that supposed to mean? Really? We're back to this again? Never mind. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Now that you're done moping around in here, there are a couple of people who'd really like to see you. Oh boy, I left them to... Grace and Kenji and... and... Grace and Kenji and Eva miss you. Spend time with... The... Spend time with each of them to take your relations, and remember, you can choose more than one. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, who, who do you want to spend time with? Um, let's see. Who should I go to? I'm not sure. I think I'll go to Eva first because, well, she's well, she's the newest member, and she's probably the most worried, and uh, and she's probably the most worried. At least that's my opinion. What the? Oh, are you kidding me? They cost diamonds. Are you nuts? Great. I can't even do this. Fuck. Damn it. Damn. Why? Just why? Uh, no one. Damn you, game. You step into the clock tower for the first time in days and immediately feel a weight lifted from your shoulders. How's that feel, being back? I mean, 
Feels, feels right actually. Of course it does. You're a hero, Phoenix. You're our hero. Aww. Nothing has ever, nothing can ever change that. Remember. Thanks, Poppy, and. I'm sorry again I didn't tell you guys sooner or explain better or no no need to apologize Phoenix just do me one favor will ya what what's that don't leave me alone in here with Poppy again I don't think I can take much more of her singing <laughs> hey <laughs> just kidding sort of <laughs> jerk you look from Dex and Poppy and feel yourself starting to smile. Well, I'm glad to see you two have ch haven't changed. Now, enough about the past. It's time to look forward. Yes! Sure thing, boss. What's the mission? What else? Stopping Salas Prescott before he could take over Northbridge door. Um, and uh, what if he doesn't want to be stopped? What are you talking? Then I'll make him wish he'll never mess with my city! <laughs> and there it is! Oh, I think I got the chills. Hero Girl is back, baby. <laughs> you bet I'm back, Dex. Get my suit ready. I'm going to have to work. I'm going to have a whirl with my boss. Ooh. You pull over. You put. You pull o You pull on your suit and fly across the city towards Prescott Industries. The moon rising behind the glimmering golden tower where Celis lies. Ooh. You got this, Phoenix. Phoenix. Poppy and I will be right here if you need any... Oh, sorry. Be careful in there, though. He should. He could have some sort of super-powered henchman for, with him for all we know. Good point. <sighs> I'll be careful. Don't worry. Hey, you're coming on with the tower now. Why aren't you landing? Hmm. I'm skipping the elevator ride. Ooh. <laughs> hey. You see yourself reflected in the glass as you sneak it, as you sneak towards the windows of Sellers' top floor, top floor office. Oh, what's on my voice? With a responding crash, you bur you bring your legs up into the front of you, kicking straight through the glass. Ooh, nice. You land in a cru you land in a crutch's mist up the shattered the shattered spray of glass shards, then draw up to your full height. Your fist crunch. Your friend's clenching at your side. Okay, now I know I'm pissed. Celis Prescott, we need to talk. Holy crap, Phoenix! Yeah, what am I doing? That was awesome. Celis holds up one finger for silence as he finishes reading a memo on his desk and looks up a fa a faintly amused expression on his face. I hope you were going to talk about how you plan to commit me for my broken window. Yeah, I'm not here for that, pal. That's not exactly what I had in mind. Well then, what would you like to discuss? Why don't we start with you? Why don't we start with your plan to use the stolen liquid prism to build yourself an army of supers and take over the city? Ah, yes, that. I figured you'd come after me eventually. In fact. I counted on it, Phoenix. What? Well, oh God, he knows who I am. Oh, crap, I am dead. Oh, <laughs> he knows who I am. How the fuck did he figure that out? Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh, wow, that was intense. Okay, now it's getting intense. Okay, okay, I am really excited right now. Let's get to next episode. <laughs> Oh, he knows who I am. That means I'm freaking doomed. I'm freaking doomed. I'm freaking dead. Oof. Chapter 14, Prisoner's Dilemma. You stand in Phoenix, you stand in Salas' Prescott's office at the top of the Prescott Industries facing him down across the generation marble cr topped desk between you. How, how did you know? Your, your secret identity? Don't be naive, Phoenix. Nothing happens in this city without me knowing it. You think I didn't notice all it decided when you touched the prism crystal that it reacted specifically to you? Okay, well, at least he's not an idiot. 
Perhaps no one else made the connection, but I did, and I grew suspicious. Congratulations, Phoenix, you just confirmed my suspicion. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap! Oh crap, he's only played you, you think? Dex, shut up! Salis, no one will believe you! Oh, don't worry, I don't intend to tell anyone your little secret as long as you don't share my natties. And if you do well, it'd be a shame if something happen if something were to happen to your friends, to your mother. You see, this is why you have an identity, because this happens! You bastard, I'll make you pay for that! Good, I welcome the challenge. Okay, he's just asking for a one-man punch right now. Salas reaches inside his suit jacket and pulls out a reveal it. Oh, a revolving internet gun loaded with four vials of liquid prism. Before you can stop him, he shoots each of the serum strains to his wrist one after the other. What the hell? Oh, crap. I suppose I should thank you, Phoenix. I've been dying for the opportunity to test my new powers against a real challenge. Okay, now I'm in the fight for my life. Just don't disappoint me. Don't worry, I won't. And by the way, I quit! Game Phoenix! You fly straight at Salis, soaring over his desk with one fist extended to pound his face in! Ha! But before you can make contact, his left hand swoop shoots up between his fist and his face crunch catching in the mid-air and immediately hauling your flight. What? What the hell? I have to say, I'm already disappointed, I suppose. I better make this quick. With just a flick of his wrist, Salas generates enough force to send you flying across the room. What the hell? He's got super strength. You slam into the wall of the office, cracking the stones and sliding against it. Get down to the rest in a clumped heap on the floor. Ah! Salix walks over to you, sh giving his wrist a little shake. Wow, that really was some quite stuff. Hazel really outdone herself. What? You struggle to pick yourself up off the ground, your whole body aching. You... You won't get away with this. I'm being honest. If I don't stop you, one of my friends will. I don't think so, hero girl, if you can't stop me. Salas stands over and you pulls you into the back of his his fist to deliver one final blow no one can I won't be so oh oh god the last thing you see is the tented class ring on Celeste's right hand as it collides with your face ow I just okay what happened to me and then the whole world goes black we might dead again oh please tell me I'm not dead Oh, I'm not. And what? I'm in a what? You slowly come into a prison cell made of clean white marble. A soft pink glow suffers the room and got from. Oh crap! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! This is bad. This is bad. This is so bad. The prison gate. Salas must have restored it somehow. But where am I? Ah, you're awake. I was worried I've knocked you out for good. Yeah, not happening. You look up to see Salas' Prescott smiling down at, at you through the bars. There, that ought to hold you. Can't, can't have you spoiling the fun while I take over the city. What are you talking about? Let me out of here! Let yourself out. You're a superhero, remember? Ugh. What should I do? Uh, okay, I have a feeling if I break the bars, something is going to happen to me. But if I don't, let's see what happens if I break the bars. With pleasure! You stand up and grip the cell bars, preparing to tear them out the wall, but they won't budge. Yep, that was right. Ha! Not so easy, is it? Those bars are made of pri primer of a pr prodigy Prescott Enterprises metal, 50 times stronger than steel. Something I've been start setting on, on for a few years. Actually figured it might come in handy one of these days. And it has, and it happens. 
as it happens it is an extra it's incredibly high high melting point to just ask my other captive what oh don't tell me he's in here so steps aside you see an identical cell across from yours with Caleb trapped inside let me out of here you son of a bitch not yet I think I thought it was working with you hmm Kalo grits the bars in the flame in his flaming hands, the fire splitting harmlessly against the cold white metal. Ugh. You really gotta get out you really gotta get that temper under control, kid. Shut up, old man. Jesus. Charming, try not to blink her while while I'm away, you two. Bicker. Sorry, Bicker. Where are you going? Get back here and let us out! I'm afraid I can't do that, Phoenix. The mayor's holding a public assembly this week to, and uh, to address the rise in superpower crime, and I intend to be there. Oh no! What are you? What are you thinking? Why? Well, this is the perfect venue for me to make my debut as the city's absolute ruler, don't you think? Ha! <laughs> like hell! You glare at Sally through the bars, fuming slightly. What's the matter, cat? Got you some? Ugh. Glad to see. Glad to see. Glad you said that, right? Oh no, I'm not admitting that. Just wait until I get out of here. Well, that's the thing, Phoenix. You won't, and if you did, we both know you're not strong enough to defeat me. Frank, frankly, I don't see the point in fr in fantasizing about freedom. You're stuck in here, but I get used to it. I'm sure Caleb's a fantastic conversationalist if you happen to get bored. Oh boy. Ha! You can't pay me to talk to that goody two shoes like her. Dude, you're trapped in here too, so shut it! Tough break, Phoenix. Guess you'll just have to keep yourself company. Ta ta for now! Okay, that is weird. Check. Click. Chuckling to himself, Silas walks down the hall and steps into the elevator. The last thing you see before the doors wash close is his smug smile as he raises his hand in a mocking wave. Damn him! Okay, how am I gonna get out of here? In determination, you shout across the hall to Caleb, who gro who growls at you from his cell. Look, Caleb, I know we're apart from far from being friends as two people can possibly be, but we gotta work together if we want to. Forget it, hero. I meant what I said. We're not good. We have nothing to talk about. Okay, this is gonna take some convincing. I'm gonna get some sleep. Maybe when I wake up, I'll be somewhere far away from here. <clears throat> Caleb rose over to his cot to face the wall, leaving you alone with your thoughts. <sighs> what do I do? Think, think. After hours of pacing the floor, trying to come up with an escape plan, you sink it. You sink into your cot defeated. There's no way out. If only Salis hasn't deter disabled my mask cam, I could have sent a message to Dex, Dex and Poppy. But that's not an option now. I need to get out of here on my own. I'm just not strong enough. You hold your head in ha you hold your head in your hands, a deep depressed despair settling over you and glance over and glance over at Kayla sleeping in his cell. Now I see Caleb. Now I see why Caleb's not even willing to try to tr try getting out of here. He's probably been here for weeks, if not longer. Guess it doesn't take long for a hopelessness to set in. Just then you hear something—a soft, what's that, bonking whisper just over the edges of hearing. You know, you know it's the pink glow of the prism gates getting slightly stronger. Be, st be strong. Who's there? Who's there? You look at Caleb again and see he's fast asleep towards you on the cot. Hmm. Don't get. So <clears throat> Sorry. Don't give up hope. Not yet. Who are you? Where are you? Another voice joins the first, and a pink glow still brighter. <sighs> we are far. We are far from you. Too far for too long. What is happening? You rush to the bars of your cell and look across the room to see an un an undoing ripple uh, descending the surface of the prison gate. <clears throat> Let's see. 
You've grown so much, child. It gives us such great pleasure to see you again. Again? Wait, are you? <clears throat> Be strong for us, child. You have not reached your full potential. Let us help you. Okay, who was talking to me? Help me, help me how? Whoa. Before you can finish the sentence, a bolt of pure glowing electricity sp explodes from the mouth of the gates. It singes through the bars of your cell and slams into your chest, throwing you back against the wall. I what the hell? Sparks spray all over the floor of the cell as energy courses through you, rolling through your veins and supercharging your senses. What's happening to me? Yeah, what is happening? Finally, the light case curses and you fall to your knees, winded but full of adrenaline. You pick yourself up from the floor and look at your hands. They look no different, and yet you feel the power radiating through your think from your fingers. No more games. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> okay. You send across your cell and grip the bars with your hands with one swoop, smooth motion. You rip them free of your mole, mo pit moling <laughs> and fling them across the room. Wow. Whoa, what the hell? Yeah, my fault exactly. The, the light of the prison gate fades. Its power now joined with yours. Before it gets out, you hear the voices from beyond calling out to you. <clears throat> Go now and finish this. We've done all we can for you, for now. I hope we meet again someday, daughter. What? Wait, am I actual mother? I, goodbye, mom and dad. They were talking to me, oh my God. You, st you sway on your feet, the surge of power leaving you dizzy and pitched towards onto the ground. <sighs> hey, you okay? Gosh. I don't know, I just... Suddenly, when all growly and rip the bars off yourself clean off, yeah, I saw. Now, about you give me a hand, huh? Okay. You get on... You get on sent to your feet, still feeling slightly pun punch drunk. What? You quiet down for a second, I'm feeling... I'm fe I'm, I'm feeling very weird. All that power must have overwhelmed me. Maybe I'm not ready for that kind of strength. Well, get ready, because I need you to get me... Get out of here! Mm -mm. You strengthen up and glare at Caleb through the ca bars of his cage. I thought you weren't talking to me, huh? I, I had a change of heart. Mm -hmm, sure you did. Come on, you're not really going to leave me here with that maniac, are you? Mm, honestly... Okay, okay, I am very sympathetic, and if he has, and he might change, so, uh, I'm gonna go with the first one, sorry if you disagree. Right, least of all me. So hurry up and get, so hurry up and get me out of here, okay, okay. You try to summon the strength that, the, <laughs> you try to summon the strength you had moments before, but nothing comes. You still feel weak and stu and groggy, no matter how hard you try. I, I don't think I can. I need to rest. Well, you can do it here. You can't just do it here. Come on, go to the control panel or something. Maybe there's a way to open this door. <sighs> Fine, just stop yelling. You walk over to the control panel and pour over the untouched monitors. Man, is it? Looking for a way to unlock it. Caleb's cell. Finally, you spot a button with a lock icon. Press your fingers on it. Caleb's cell washes open and steps outside, stretching. Hi, that's better. I've been cooped up in there for way too long. Just don't get funny ideas, okay? We're getting out of here together or not at all, remember? Yeah, 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 whatever. I'll play nice just this once. Okay, glad we're on the same page for a bit. You turn to go, but a series of videos files on Salas' computer catches your eye. What? Hang on a sec. These are from 25 years ago. Mm. You, scroll, you scroll through the video's thumbnails, and sure enough, you spot Ro Rochelle in one of them. Damn. 
you tap on a video and it starts to play. Ooh, I'm getting a flashback. Well, a video. On the screen, Salas paces the lab in electronic glee while Rochelle examines the prism crystal under a high-powered microscope, frowning silently. Where did you say you found this again? I didn't find it. It was Helena. We spent our second honeymoon exploring the island of La Hun... Of La what? La Hunta. Am I saying that right? Mm. Just then, Caleb taps on your shoulder immediately. Um, hello? Are we getting out of here or what? Silas can be back any second. Oh, right. What the... Ah, oh, come on! Damn, just... Why? Why do you do this to me? Ugh. Well, I haven't got a choice, and honestly, we do need to get out of here. Guess I can find answers another way. Great. Glad you come to your senses. Come on. Damn you, Gurm. You and Caleb hurry out of the prison and find yourselves at the foot-legged fo 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 ha hallway in a larger facility. What is this place? Who cares? Let's just get out of here. Come on this way. I don't take orders from you. I can go where I want. Okay. Caleb drifts in another direction when suddenly a loud rumbling sound thunders up ahead, stopping him in his tracks. Sounds like footprints. Foot pr footsteps. A lot of them. On, se on second thought, I think I'll run your way. <laughs> just, then a just then a door bursts open, nearly flying off the hinges. I think I know who it is. <laughs> I was right. Oh crap, not you again. Stoneheart steps through the door, smirking. Where do you think where do you think you're going? We're getting the hell out of here. I don't think so, boys. Secure the prisoners. Go, go, go. Oh now I'm doomed. Troops flood into the room, boots tra trumping loudly as they start to surround you. You call you called out to Caleb. Um, let's see. Stick with me. I don't know. We can beat these guys if we stick together, Caleb. Caleb! Lay the hero! Damn it! I knew it! <sighs> you tend to see Caleb already fleeing. Hey, wait up! You spin on your heels and follow. After them! You heard the boss get him! What is that? Okay, what is happening with my life right now? The troops flood after you as you flee, their footsteps pushed by the heavy thud of Stoneheart's boots. Crap, I didn't know. I don't know if I can fight all these guys right now. I'm still recovering from absorbing all that prism energy. We need to. Uh, a smoke screen! <coughs> Give us some cover! On it! Oh, now you're helping. Kayla turns and twists out his hand, blazing a flame swoosh across the floor behind you. Eat this! <laughs> okay, who says that? Uh, plums of smoke rises up from the floor, from the flames, leaving the gra ga gra the gra the ah uh, uh, the guard, the grand troops stumbling and coughing. <coughs> with your with your with your pursuers dis delay it. The layered you and Caleb dash away. Idiots after them! You round, you round the corner into a long corridor with a large door at the end. Reaching it, Caleb touches the handle to no effort. Why? What? It's locked. Oh. You ram your hand, you ram your shoulders into the door and whips from the pain. I, uh, I'm still not back to my full strength, Caleb. I'm gonna need some help here. Caleb, you need to cut through it. Let's see. See if you can cut, try and cut through it. What? I've seen you make a torch hot enough to melt break. I've seen you make a torch, a torch hot enough to cut metal before. That was one time. You think I can from that trick on demands like a circus animal? Hey, we're trying to get out of here, so help me out. The guards sneak up. The guards. The guard sneak as Stoneheart appears, running at the head of his, of his command of troops. Nowhere to run. Fuck. Come on, Caleb. What are you waiting for? I, I don't know. Usually I can control my anger when I need to make a hotter flame. But right now, I'm just really stressed and freaked out. 
Okay. You need to get mad, huh? Caleb? Um... Oh, really? I'm gonna do this now? Okay, let's see. Uh, you're a pathetic weakling. Let's try that. I can't believe I thought you were ever a friend. No wonder Stoneheart captured you so easily. Weakling? I'll show you weak. Okay, that did it. The torch... The torch... The torch of flames in Kayla's hand sums and fo and fo and forces into a br into a brilliant white hot lease lace lease. <laughs> okay, that's not depressing. He stabs the flame into the door and drags it through the metal, drawing a wide, melting, glowing circle. Nice. Leave the rest to me. You put. You push Caleb aside as you wind up as you wind up and punch the centre of the circle, knocking a clean hole in the metal. Not bad, but don't think I forget what you said. Thanks, and let's go. You you split you split through the exit as Stoneheart roars in failure anger behind you. Ugh, no, they're getting away. Later, suckers! <laughs> After flying and sprinting until you can no longer hear Stoneheart's fur fur furious screams, you and Caleb stop to catch your breath. I think we're safe. Safe? Don't be so naive. Nowhere in the city is safe so long as Celeste Prescott is still out there. Well, yeah, I just meant we're safe for now. But you did a pretty but you did pretty good back there. You made you only made it out because of you. Don't go reading on it or anything. I was just watching my own back. Okay, whatever you say. Sure, me too. Yeah. Well, see you, see you around, I guess. You're leaving just like that. What? What's there to stick around for? Ugh. Hmm. Caleb's not exactly the most moral, upstanding guy. I'm gonna need all the help I can get. I just. I can get to stop Salas and Stoneheart. Recruit to add him to the team. Oh, nice one. Okay, how am I going to do? Damn it! Why? Just why? Just... Caleb, wait. Damn, damn this game. Damn it so much. I can't. Don't have enough diamonds. Fuck. Um, it's a crazy out here. Oh, yeah, you too. I could have used him. I could have used his help. Caleb stretches the back of his neck as he mumbles over some unspoken words. Anyway, maybe I'll see you. Maybe I'll see you around, hero. <laughs> maybe. Okay, so I'm really hoping he actually changes his mind and comes back. I'm really hoping. You watch as Caleb puts his hand in his pocket and strongles off into the night. Meanwhile, back at the clock tower, Dax pr paces the floor while Poppy sits at the computer reflecting a static video feed over and over again. Come on, come on! Dex, cro Dex crosses the, dot, uh, the clock tower for the thousandth time, for the hundredth time, and doubles back, chewing his fingernails. <laughs> Would you stop that? Stop what? All that pacing it's driving me crazy well it's not like reflecting well it's not like reflecting the video feed over the millionth time is gonna help poppy starts to resort then bites her lip tears forming in her eyes what's wrong oh poppy i should oh, i'm so sorry i shouldn't have no no it's not your fault obviously we're both worried about phoenix oh, i shouldn't have snapped at you Poppy sniffles and wipes a tear away while De while Dex sits behind there. Yeah. I just hate feeling so powerless, you know. I know, I know exactly how you feel. Dex looks at the Sonic at the monitor, following that frowning, then brightens up when a fresh I with a fresh idea. Tell you what, this feed won't show us anything unless Phoenix magically develops the engineering skills required to repair it. In the meantime, all we have to, we have, will have a better chance of spotting her the old-fashioned way. The old-fashioned way. What do you mean? 
Dex points out the gla- points to the glass face out of the clock clock tower by looking out the window. Of course. How the hell is that gonna help? <laughs> okay. You know, for a genius, that's the most stupidest idea you've ever had. What do you say? Would you keep watch with me? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Let's do that. Thanks, Dex. Finally, so it feels good to have something to do. <laughs> Dex climbs up to the upper la level of the clock tower, then offers Poppy a hand getting up after him. Well, we should we should install a ladder or something. Was that too much of a workout for you? What? No! Well, maybe. <laughs> oh my god, these two are so cute! <laughs> Dex leans against the railings and takes a deep breath while Poppy looks, at looks out the window of the night sky. Fine! Scene for between these two. Well, it's really wow, it's really beautiful tonight, don't you think? If only Poppy were, if only Phoenix were here to enjoy it. Dex turns around and t and tenderly puts an arm around Poppy's shoulder, giving her a squeeze. <coughs> don't worry, she'll be okay, I promise. <laughs> you can't promise that though. Sure I can. This is Hero Girl we're talking about, remember? I'm pretty sure she can handle anything the world throws at her. You'll see. Poppy looks troubled for a moment, then put, then pulls Dex into a tight hug. Whoa, what's all this for? Poppy pulls back and gazes into Dex's eyes. A, a thoughtful expression on her face. For always knowing what to say. Well, almost always. <laughs> hey, hey, what do you mean? Before Dex... Oh, okay. Before Dex can cut the word, before Dex can get the words out, properly swoopfully leans in <coughs> and presses a gentle kiss onto Dex's lips. Finally, just finally, 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 they do it. Oh God, how many of you are waiting for that? Oh, this is so cute. Okay, awkward moment. Uh, Poppy, I... You burst through the door of the clock tower in time to see Poppy and Dex silhouetted against the night sky. Re well, at least I didn't jump in at the wrong moment. Oh my god, what did I just walk in on? Never mind. Poppy and Dex nearly fall off the balcony in surprise. Uh, nothing. Yeah, sure. <laughs> nothing? No, okay, not nothing. I don't know why I lied. I got nervous. Deep breaths, Poppy. It's gonna be okay, I promise. Would you stop smirking like that? I can't. <laughs> I can't. I'm just so happy for you too. I. Never mind that, Phoenix. Where have you been? How did you get away from Salas? Yeah, we've been so worried about you. Well, long story short, Salas locked me up in some secret lab or something. The good news is I got away. The bad news is Salus is planning to take over the city during the mayor's speech this week and it's up to us to stop him. Really? That's it? <laughs> okay. Well, these were something. I got a lot of, luckily, got a lot of answers. Well, nearly. Oh, I wish I had enough diamonds to recruit Caleb. I honestly hope I do. But I am hoping in the last episode he changes his mind and comes in and helps me. I don't know. Let's hope for that. Okay, well, okay, well, I don't have any more keys, unfortunately, so, okay, so if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell icon for notifications, and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below, right, oh, right, I'll see you, ne I'll see you guys next time in the season finale.